Hello students and parents. In this video lesson, I will be going over our reading assignment from earlier today. So this week we have been reading You Will Be My Friend and we did a graphic organizer um, on summarizing, but we focused more on beginning, middle, and end. It's the beginning stages of summarizing for students in the earlier grades. So what we'll be doing is the beginning, middle, an end of the story, you will be my friend. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna focus the camera a little bit and I'm going to start off with my date. So, whoa. So please um, put your date at the top of your page. 8, 27, 2020. Um, that's today's date, but if you do it on a day that is not the 27th, please, please, please put a date that you have done this assignment. So we have our date, and now we're going to start setting up our um, beginning, middle, and end sections. So first, go ahead and make a gigantic B and do a squiggly mark, then make an M for middle, and then an E for end. So we have B, M, E, beginning, middle, and end. So what we did was we read the book over again, and I will make sure that the link for the book is connected to the, um, uh, to the assignment. And we wrote a sentence or a phrase explaining what happened in the beginning of the book, what happened in the middle of the book, and what happened at the end of the book. And then we drew a little picture next to each part um, to help us remember what happened. So for the beginning, what we put was Lucy was excited for a friend because the whole beginning of the story, Lucy kept saying how much she wanted to make friends and she had all these ideas and all these plans. Um, so Lucy was excited for a friend. And then please put a period at the end. So Lucy was excited for a friend. That was um, the first part that happened in the beginning. And then we drew a picture of Lucy being very, very excited on the side. So please don't use green, but um, I'm gonna draw just a little picture of Lucy here looking very excited. Um, for having a friend. Okay, then for middle, we were thinking and brought up topics of what was going on in the middle of the story and students decided that she was looking for friends. She was looking, she met lots of different animals. She looked in her tree, she looked in the pond, um, she helped friends out. Uh, she did a lot of things, she even like, was jumping with a friend that was a kangaroo. She went swimming in the ocean or a river with fish to try and make friends. So she looked everywhere for friends. She looked for friends. Okay, and I put a period. And then here, some students drew her with in a tree. So they drew the tree because she went up and bothered a giraffe. Um, that was eating its breakfast. And she uh, was sitting in the giraffe's breakfast. <laughs> And so some students do that, or you could draw her uh, splashing into the pond, or you could draw her washing the skunk, um, all different ways that she was looking for a friend. Uh, the next one that we have is the end of the story. So at the end of the story, Lucy started get losing hope. She was getting really frustrated. She's getting really angry. And then um, all of a sudden, another animal sees this and was like, you know what, I want to be friends with Lucy. So they flew up to them, up to Lucy, and asked if they could be friends. And the rest is history. <laughs> so here we wrote, Lucy 
made a friend. Okay, that was our sentence for this one. And then we drew Lucy. Okay. Now, when you do your art, students, please, please, please put a lot more um, color into it and make it really look pretty. I am going through it because I don't want this video to be forever, but um, if students could please, please, please put their all into their books because I will show you what Ms. Kloss and I will be looking for. Um, we will be looking for something along these lines, so it looks like that. Okay, so lots of color, lots of details, um, and that is what this assignment is. So beginning, middle, and end, tell us what happened at the beginning of the story, what happened in the middle of the story, and what happened at the end of the story. So if you come up with different things that happen in the beginning, middle, or end of the story, then go ahead and write those. Um, you don't have to write what I wrote. If, you're, if you uh, want to write something different, you can. If you want to draw a different picture, you can. So please feel free to make it your own uh, when doing this assignment. And this is going to conclude our video for um, today. And if you have any questions, please let Ms. Colossa and I know. And we hope you have a great rest of your day.